What's up guys, Bear McMahon here. I'm back after almost being gone for a year and I'm ready to give you guys some awesome content. I'm gonna try to do some different things other than just knives and guns all the time. Um, I apologize for being gone for almost a year. As you can see, I've been kind of busy working on my set and also with the global pandemic, it's kind of difficult to get content for you guys because you can't go out in public and you can't do all this stuff. So it makes it difficult. Anyways, I got a question for you. Uh, I would like to try to start doing giveaways and if I could possibly get your or ideas in the comment section below, uh, how I could do giveaways. What's the best way of getting somebody something that is watching my videos? If you could comment and help me through that, that'd be great. So anyways, on my videos today, uh, I figured I'd throw it back to get some retro stuff. And I played with this stuff when I was a kid, way back in the 80s. And I absolutely had a lot of fun with it. And I'm so glad that Mattel is bringing back all of this cool retro stuff toys like He-Man and G.I. Joe and like all kinds of cool stuff. What other stuff? Comment below if there's anything other that's like Star Wars stuff. They're all coming back with us. So hopefully I can get some more of that content to show you guys. But that'd be great. But for today, we have these things right here. I don't know if you've seen these out and about. I think these are pretty cool. And I decided I got one and I really like the way it looked. As you can see, this is Skeletor. And I really like the way it was put together and I like how the fact that it's like a blind bag and it's like it's really cool you open it up and you get a character inside you can't see inside it's really neat so I got one and I thought it was really cool so of course I had to get more so I can show you guys how it comes so this is Skeletor which we have hopefully we get some ones that we don't have so let's start with the first one here as you can see they come in this packaging so there's no way of looking inside of it when you're at the store unless you take the packaging off but we're not going to do that. That's like cheating. That's cheating. So let's get into the first one to see who we've gotten. And of course, I have my trusty buck knife here. <laughs> Little homage to the old Bear McMahon before. But I'm going to try to get into doing other reviews like retro toys and collectibles, like the things behind me, stuff like that. And try to get away from the guns and knives things. But I always have a knife to open up packaging, of course, obviously. So let's get into the first one. Let's take the plastic off of this one and get right into it. See what we got here. The first one that we're opening. Oh, and how many do I have of these? I have one that I already opened. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of them. And we'll see. You'll see there's, I think there's eight of them to collect in all. We'll see if we got this one. Oh, okay. This guy here. I'm not really sure what his name is. I knew I was going to get him first. I absolutely knew it. I think his name. Well, we'll look. It comes with this little guy in the packaging here this little he-man character and they come with a little like piece of paper that shows you all of the characters and who you could possibly get oh i just dropped his sword it comes with a little orange sword which just fell out of the packaging maybe my stage hand could help me and get that so his name is jitsu as you can see here in the packaging i don't see it's very nice colored um, piece of paper it shows you everything on the back side it says masters of the universe which everybody knows when you're an 80s kid uh, master of the universe was a big deal he man so this guy's name is Jitsu and I'm happy to get him because obviously I only have two characters I have uh, Skeletor and I have Jitsu now which is really cool I don't know if you could see him or not yeah he's pretty cool looking he's got the I don't really remember him from uh, from He-Man that much. Maybe somebody could tell me what episodes he was in. I don't know. So that's our first one here. So, oh, and what's also really cool about these things is they attach and they have these little nubbies on the top. These little nubbies and then they have the little holes in the feet so you could stand them on there. Boop, just like that. Yeah. Oh, and these blind bags are Castle Grayskull too, right? So we'll just move these aside. Remember, he came with a little orange sword. So when you when you when you uh, when when you get him, you know he comes with an orange sword. We're not gonna get it right now because it, it fell fell into the abyss. Anyways, let's get into the second one here. Let's move this garbage out of the way. I said we'll clean that up later. We'll just chuck that. Out. Okay. So we know it comes with a 
a little piece of paper that shows you all the different things here. Uh oh, my knife's too sharp. I just cut a little piece of castle gray skull. You don't want to do that. That makes He-Man mad. Makes him angry. We'll chuck that off. We'll just chuck everything on the floor and then we'll get it after. Who do we get? Oh, this is one of my favorite characters. Absolutely love this guy. He's one of the biggest characters you can get. Should I show you? Should I? Yeah, I think I will. Uh, this is, oh man, I'm drawing a blank here. I know, yeah. It's Ram Man. Check him out. Ram Man. He's really cool. He's one of the biggest ones. I had the one of the original Ram Man uh, toys back in the day, and he had this like little spring, and you could push him down, and then he could boop and pop up. He's really cool. Really cool Ram Man. Check this guy out. They have a bit of articulation there with their hips and their legs. Their arms move a bit. As you can see, their heads move a little teeny tiny bit. Of course, he has all this armor, so you can't really see. See Ram Man? He's really cool. I like him. A lot of detail on these, and I just like them because they're they're so retro and they're so cool. The Ram Man comes with a little axe. Of course, Ram Man has an axe. Like, why wouldn't he have an axe? That's awesome. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Here you go. We got the first weapon here for Ram Man. He's sticking in his hand there. Check that out. Look at that. He's got an axe. Ooh, yeah. Anyways, let's get to the next one. So now we have Ram Man, which I'm excited about because I wanted Ram Man. He's one of the ones that I wanted the most. Wait, let's turn around. Turn around here. Oof. Here we go. Stick all these guys right here. Let's get rid of some of this garbage. There we go. Here's a garbage can right in front of me. I swear it. We'll get into these. This would be the fourth one. Because I'm including Skeletor even though I opened him earlier. Like a couple weeks ago. And as soon as I saw him, I thought his details were really good and everything. So I had to get more. You have to get more. You can pick these up at Walmart. Walmart's got a lot of cool new retro Mattel toys that are really neat. All right, let's see what we got here. Should we open this one up in front of the camera? I won't even look at it until I, until you guys see it. If I can get it open without seeing it and without dropping it, because we dropped the sword into the abyss and it hasn't come back. It tried to come back, but it didn't get, it didn't come back. Okay, let's see who this is. We'll open it together. Oh man, check that out. I saw that when you guys saw it. This freaking He-Man, he's cool. I can't, can't really. You can see the packaging that they come in, and then you can see the little piece of paper with the He-Man sword. Like, are you kidding me? That's that's friggin' cool. I like that. That's cool. Let's get him out. I'm excited now. Oh, you gotta have He-Man. So far, no doubles. This is what I've noticed. No doubles. I like this. Ugh, maybe we'll get lucky and and hopefully not have a double. That'd be cool. Look at him. He's so cool. Everybody knows that he's Prince Adam when he is not He-Man, right? Look at that. That's cool. Look at the smile on him. He looks tough. Like, Argh! like yeah. Look at him. Yeah, he's cool. And he has, obviously, he has his iconic He-Man sword, which I gotta get out of here. Put it in his hand. Oosh. Look at that. That's the iconic He-Man sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. He's really cool. I'm so happy. Now I have, now I've gotten Ram Man, He Man, Jitsu, I think his name is. Is that what his name is? Yeah, Jitsu. And Skeletor. Like, are you kidding me? These are all like the main best characters, except for this guy. I don't really know this guy right here. Jitsu. Somebody fill me in on oh, what's up with that. So we'll just stick him on his little castle here. Let's scoot these guys over some. Look at that. We got two. Two more left to open. Well, I'm keeping one of these with me at all times. The first one that we opened. We got two more to do. Who do you think we're gonna get? Should I do the same thing? Or I open it in front of you guys without me seeing? Hmm? I think I should, right? Right? All right. These plastic screens are kind of a pain in the butt. I noticed when I did pick these up though, uh, that some people are sneaky and they take the plastic off in the store and then look inside to see who's what, what's what. That's that's sneaky. That takes the fun out of it, people. Come on. All right. I got her opened. All right. Here we go. Uh, the one that I would really like to get now is there's a He-Man, and he's like uh, he's a horde zombie He-Man. 
and he's kind of like see-through. I don't know if you can see him there. He's a little green guy in the bottom corner there. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Let's see what this is. Uh, oh no! He almost fell out. Who is it? It's He-Man again. So he, so we got a, we got a He-Man. All right. So we got two He-Mans now. That's okay. He-Man's cool. Um, maybe if we can figure out how to do giveaways, maybe I'll give that away to somebody. I don't know. I don't need two of them, right? So we'll open him up. Or should we open him up? Ah, too late. I already opened him up. I already opened him up. Look, He-Man, we've seen him. So he's got a twin brother now. What's up? And he comes with the sword and the piece of paper. So we'll just put him back. We'll pretend like that never happened. We'll pretend like that never happened. No way. All right, one more. This one's the one. This one is the one where we're going to get somebody we don't have. I kind of like Men at Arms, too. He's pretty cool. Men at Arms is pretty sick. I like him. But I really want to get the Horrid one. Let's see. This is the last one. This is the last one that we can possibly open up. And again, I want to thank Mattel for making these. I want to thank Mattel for getting into all the retro stuff because I think kids nowadays are getting into more video games. And I think they're realizing that, you know, the adult market still likes to buy a lot of toys, especially the kids from the 80s and 90s. That's what I think. And I think that Mattel is realizing that the adults are buying all the retro toys, so they're making them all again, which I really appreciate. So I want to thank Mattel for that. All right, guys. What's this one going to be? Horde? Horde He-Man? Oh, gosh. If it's another He-Man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If it's another He-Man, I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open it. If it's another He-Man, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to I'm gonna give it away. I'm going to leave it in the plastic, and I'm going to try to give it away to somebody. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What's that? Looks like Men at Arms. I think that's Men at Arms. Oh, it is Men at Arms. He's cool. Men at Arms is like He Man's sidekick. He's like the one who told He Man like everything to do, right? Or was that Prince Adam's like bodyguard? I don't know. Why does Prince Adam need a bodyguard? Because his cat was kind of a chicken, right? He was kind of scared all the time. Yes, Men at Arms. That's cool. I like that. Men at Arms is another one that's like a little like really iconic with this series with the little legs little legs they could it's like they miss leg day when they're working out <laughs> like me 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 <laughs> they got little big arms and little legs maybe Mattel could have made them a little more beefier but there's probably a reason for that there's probably a reason for the little legs and men at arms which is really cool comes with a club this is pretty iconic to men at arms he has this club Let's put it in his left hand for a change. There we go. He's a lefty. We'll make Man at Arms a lefty. Comment below and let me know if that's okay. If Man at Arms could be a lefty. Cool. Another thing is I wanted to mention about these. This is really neat. Uh, okay, we only got one double. One double. That's all we got. Another thing I wanted to show you about these guys. I'm gonna try to leave the tags on because they're cool too. Castle Grayskull. Having having this blind bag in Castle Grayskull is really cool. Like I said, there was people being sneaky and uh, and uh, peeking inside the bags. But see how you can you can have oh, shoot. <laughs> you did it wrong. Let's put the tag back behind here. Oh, you can't really. Anyways, I'll kind of give you an idea of what you could do with these to display these. So you can open up the Castle Grey Skulls. Let's close my knife. Let's be safe. We've opened them all, so we don't need that anymore. So you can open all these up. Mm. Oh, turn it this way. Uh, da, 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 da. Put this here, and you can. Uh oh, He Man fell, and you can attach them all. You can put them all together, and then you can display all your guys on top of Castle Grey Skull. Make a big wall. Should I make them all on the wall? No, I should. I shouldn't do that. But you can. You can attach them. You get the idea. Anyways, look at these guys. They're really cool. Yeah, yeah. This guy, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. He's probably my least favorite. Skeletor, are you kidding me? We got He-Man, Skeletor. These are the ones that we wanted the most, probably. Skeletor doesn't want to stand up. I don't know what's wrong with Skeletor. Let's put him up here next to He-Man. He-Man, Men at Arms. Oh yeah, this is really cool. We got one double. He's in here, He-Man. That's okay. He can never have too many He-Mans. Anyways, I'm Bear McMahon. I hope you like my first unboxing, first kind of review back after a year. It's been fun, so if you could like subscribe to my channel that'd be awesome so i could do more of this stuff for you because i really enjoy doing it and i hope you enjoyed the review remember like share 
bell notifications, whatever you gotta do to see me do more videos. Uh, like I said, comment below if you can tell me how I can do giveaways because I'd really like to do some giveaways because sometimes you get extra stuff that you don't really need and you just want to, you know, make somebody else's life happy. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry for the hiatus for a year. Um, hope to see you next time. I'm looking forward to getting some awesome content for you guys. So we'll talk to you later. Remember, Bear McMahon, like, subscribe. I'm out. Bye. Uh, best way to do that giveaways. Oh my god, <laughs> so bad. that'd be great. So, <laughs> <You're just laughs> Damn. So what's up, guys? Bear McMahon here. I've been gone for oh my god, I just messed it up again. <laughs> Uh, cooked? <laughs> you talked right at the gate. <laughs> I just took my picture. <laughs> oh, guys, bear with me in here. Oh my god. Oh, it's so hard to get back into it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and I took my picture. Great. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bear McMahon here. Uh, <laughs> in your hands. Your hands. The thing. The feeling looks good. The feeling looks good. Ha. Just took a picture. Stop. <laughs>